Hello everyone, this is Abhilip Shamalik. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the chapter 22 NCRT class 11 biology. Human endocrine system is a part of um, human control and coordination unit, human endocrine system. I am an educator in geology. And this video is recorded for the purpose of BCOT educate. So, as I have already mentioned the name of the topic, that is human endocrine system. In this diagram, we have seen there are various kinds of glands, which is known as the endocrine glands, which collectively constitute the endocrine system of human body. These are pineal, pituitary, parathyroid, thyroid, adrenal, pancreas, ovary, testes. It may be present in male bodies or female bodies. There are some of the examples of endocrine glands. So let's get into the topic to know what exactly the endocrine glands are, how they function and what are the necessity of these glands in our body. So as we have we are provided with the neural system the well maintained neural system which provides the point to point rapid coordination that provides a point to point rapid coordination among the organs as they provide point to point rapid coordination but they are very short lived functions so to maintain these functions we want something extra, something uh, extra, uh, something additional for our system, and that particular additional system is known as the endocrine system. Point one. Okay. So, uh, what it says, as the above fibers do not intervert, uh, intervert all the cells of the body and the cellular function need to be continuously regulated a special kind of coordination and in coordination and integration has to be provided as i have already mentioned this and this function is carried out by the hormones hormones are generally the chemicals the chemicals formed by our body and with the help of endocrine glands so this neural system and endocrine system both the systems see here not only one system which act uh, for the betterment of the uh, metabolic activities or the, con the consecutive activities but they conjointly they jointly coordinates and regulates the physiological functions of our body so what exactly the endocrine glands and their hormones so basically the glands which lacks of duct see there is the word duct so the ductless glands are known as endocrine glands what is the classical definition according to ncrt that Hormones as a chemical produced uh, as a chemical produced by the endocrine glands and released into the blood and transported to distantly located target organs has um, the target organs. So what are the hormones? These are the chemicals. Hormones are the chemicals that are formed by the endocrine glands which form from a gland and act on another distant gland distant gland or part of body clear it may possess or it may release from brain but that does not mean it will act upon the brain this may act upon any part of our body so this exactly says the function of the hormones so in a new term in the modern science term what uh, what a hormone means it means hormones are non nutrient chemicals which act as intracellular messengers 
intracellular messenger means the uh, messengers which act open or which act inside the cells are known as intracellular messengers and produced in the trace amounts these are known as the endocrine uh, sorry these are known as the hormones the new definition covers a number of new molecules in addition to the hormone secreted by uh, the organized endocrine glands in invertebrates possess very simple endocrine system with few hormones whereas large number of chemicals act as hormones and provide coordination in vertebrates so as the invertebrata are the simpler organisms they have some of the simple endocrine glands and in and the vertebrates which have some of the specialized characters some are complex so they provide or they possess specifically the uh, uh, complex kind of endocrine system so here uh, the endo what endocrine system means the endocrine gland and hormone producing uh, diffused tissues and cells located in different parts of our body constitute the endocrine system a system means various kinds of organs when constituent to form a, a specific kind of function is known as a system so here various kinds of glands or various kinds of endocrine glands that are present at various organs of our body they form some of the specific function they release the uh, chemicals that are known as the hormones and these together constituent or form the endocrine system the examples are pituitary pineal thyroid adrenal pancreas parathyroid thymus and gonads or the testes and ovary as we have already discussed previous in addition to these in some of the organs some of the other organs like gastrointestinal tract which is known as our digestive system liver kidney heart also provide some of the hormones and which are discussed in this diagram so here it is a human body having the brain and all of the organs which specially shows the endocrine uh, specific units of our body so in brain there are three types of glands that is hypothalamus pituitary and pineal from these pituitary is known as the master gland because it uh, generally holds all the endocrine glands and uh, generally what it does it uh, masters it masters all the endocrine functions of human body so it is known as the master gland clear so hypothalamus it what it does it generally maintains the temperature heart rate and blood pressure of our body pituitary as i have already told that it masters all kind of endocrine systems or sorry uh, all kind of endocrine functions pineal it uh, production uh, it helps in production of melatonin which is uh, make a role in the body's sleep and awake cycle when we sleep and awake this this is a biological cycle and this is maintained by the pineal gland then come to the pharyngeal part here we have a butter shaped shaped butterfly shaped structure it is known as thyroid it helps in the production of thyroid hormone that is t3 and t4 thyroxine and thyrotyronine these two helps in the production and regulation of body energy and metabolism then up next we have a, a structure a bifurcated structure known as parathyroid gland it help in the absorption of calcium and helps in providing the body in a strong manner and also helps in supporting of the thyroid gland up next we have thymus and the thymus is present just below the parathyroid gland it uh, controls the production of t cells t 
T cell is the immune cells, uh, one of the immune cell helping the protection of our body. So it helps in the, or it act towards the protection of our body. So next in the GI tract, we have pancreas and in the excretory tract, we have adrenal gland. Pancreas is a um, gland from the GI tract which help in the production of pancreatic juice. Pancreatic juice and help in the, uh, help in the balance of acid and acid base and salt. At the same time, it also help in digestive processes. Adrenal gland. It, uh, it has two parts, adrenal cortex and medulla, which help in the, uh, the action of excretion, helps in the uh, outgrowth of the waste products from our body. Lastly, we have the gonads. In a male, it is testis and in female, it is ovary. It helps in the production of various reproductive uh, hormones and with respect to it, it also produces the testis produces the sperms and ovary produces the ova for the reproductive activities. So these are the presence, the examples and the functions of the endocrine system present in human body. So as a summary, what we have concluded that human endocrine gland generally act regulatively and rapidly. So uh, so that each and every kind of function of our body is regulated in a smooth manner. It secretes the hormones which are the chemicals, helps in provision of chemical coordination, integration and regulation of every human activity. Pituitary, as I have already mentioned that it is the master gland that present in the hypothalamus of brain hypothalamus of brain and help in regulation of all the human activities. So lastly, I can hope this will uh, clear the basics regarding the endocrine system of human body. Thank you.